Well it's Paul Clegg here and uh, if this colouring on this video is a little bit blue then that's because there's a blue overcast. It's very frosty as you can see. I'm out walking my friend's dog and a beautiful day really. It's going to be lovely. Uh, but I thought what I would do is uh, just share something that happened to me yesterday in Waitrose in Wells. As you can see from this particular picture the message that it says is don't forget um, and I was talking to the lady behind the counter she's not responsible for the sign of course about the importance of getting our wording right you see I explained that if I tell her don't forget what a blue elephant looks like you'll think of a blue elephant if I tell you not to think of a pink tutu you will think of a pink tutu. Whatever I tell you not to do or don't do, you will think of it or likely don't do it. Now the challenge is that we use this language, what I call sloppy language. Uh, my friend Bob Nickel from uh, the US, now living in Las Vegas, he calls uh, very sloppy language, naughty words. We use these words on an everyday basis and in fact what the sign should say is remember don't forget is a double negative. So she said, well I never thought about that. I said, it's the same, th you're not responsible for the si sign, but it's the same way in which you respond to clients and customers. She's serving coffee all day and food and very pleasant she was. I said, how many times when people say the word thank you, do you say no problem? No problem is a double negative. It doesn't make me feel good. Instead it should be, it's my pleasure or you're welcome. And she found that fascinating and I hope you do too. So how do you respond when people just say thank you? Hope you found that useful and uh, as well as the way we speak it's very useful to look at that in the way that uh, we write copy for websites, for literature etc. I see it all over the place. Don't forget when really we mean remember. Speak to you soon. Where's that dog?